Hi guys, this is your reading for mid-month November. This reading is for Pisces. Of course, you guys see the Romance Angels card that I've already shuffled and pulled for you guys that we'll look at at the end of the reading. Let's see what energy is going on around my Pisces. Let's see what this is poking out there. Ace of Swords. There's something that you guys have come to realize here. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. There's some truth that you feel like you know. And this is not something that somebody has told you. This is something that you've come to on your own. Okay. Something that you've, you know, just sat and thought about and, um, and just like, you know, almost like having this, um, not an intervention, intervention, but, um, just taking some time by yourself to really kind of evaluate things. Okay. Huh. Got four cards here. Six of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Five of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. Huh. I think you guys were always the ones that were trying to like work things out and fix things, um, be the bigger person here. And then someone was always just kind of like sabotaging the situation and, and in turn like self-sabotaging, always wanting to like, you know, one up you, win the conversations or win the arguments even here. And then um, I see you guys walking away. I see them initially physically walking away, but I think, you know, you're emotionally drained at this point here. Uh, Aquarius is here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy is here. Uh, primarily Taurus. Taurus, Aquarius energy. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's crossing my Pisces. Let's crossing Pisces. Five of Wands here. Do not overthink. Do not talk yourself out of believing what you know in your heart is a truth. Your truth. Okay. That's what's crossing you. The Five of Wands. Leo energy. Don't second guess yourselves. Okay. That's what's at stake here. <clears throat> Underlying issue here for Pisces. Eight of Wands, moving on, truly moving on, okay? Hmm. Um, some of you guys are really wanting this person to reach out, call you. Um, and, and I think that's what's kind of like, you know, holding you back is because there, there's some kind of confirmation I feel like you are wanting from this person. But, um, yeah, you don't, you don't need confirmation from them. Follow your instinct, follow your gut and, and try not to second guess yourself about that. That Sagittarius energy there with the eight of wands in the recent past for Pisces, the hermit, the hermit, hermits number nine. This is all about yourself, um, seeking the answers. And I feel like you know the answer here. You know the answer. You found out the truth, your truth. Virgo energy. You know what the deal is. It's taking what, what you already know, not second guessing yourself and being able to move forward with that without having any kind of confirmation from someone else that that is the best thing for you to do, okay? You don't need their confirmation. You don't need to experience the communication with them in order for you to be able to move on because you know the answers here. <clears throat> Crowning thoughts for Pisces. Judgment. Yeah. I do feel like you guys are a new person. I think that you have definitely been enlightened um, and you are hearing the call, but I think... You know, right now, it's like, this is the moment of truth. Do you heed that call? Because once you decide to move forward and move on, I feel like, you know, that's exactly what you're going to be doing for, um, for the long term. 
giving up on this person, giving up on this situation, okay? So either you're going to give up on them and move forward and move on, um, and you don't have to give up on them necessarily, but <clears throat> doing what's best for you. And if what's best for you right now is moving forward, then I feel like, you know, that is what you do. But if you feel like you want to give this person another chance, then that is what you do. Either way, either decision is going to bring about long-term consequences here. They may not be forever because time is fluid. Energy is fluid and things are liable to change at any given moment. But for right now, I think, you know, it's, a, it's the need is there for you to decide what's best for you in this moment. You know, if not hanging around is what's best for you, then please move forward, guys, because you don't want to, you know, hinder yourself. Look at this. Please move forward with the world and the queen of wands. Do what's best for you. Okay? Get yourselves together. Do what you want to do in this life. And then once you start doing that, you just never know. You know, things may turn around. But I do feel that, you know, with the world energy here, this is a very fixed energy. Taurus, Scorpio, um, Aquarius, and Leo energy here with the world. But... I feel that once you do decide what it is that you want to do, and I feel like this is about you moving on and moving forward, um, I think great things are coming for you guys here because this is a challenge. This is going to definitely be a challenge for you, okay? Definitely a challenge for you guys here with the world's energy. The world comes after judgment. This is what... I see you guys doing or wanting to do. Mm -hmm. You've been in a cycle with this person for a while. You have. And I think you've been the Queen of Pentacles, just very kind of um, reliable for them for a while. And I think, you know, this is for you to do what's best for you here. You're still a queen. Um, you you are still open to relationships, even the relationship with them. But at this point, is that what's best for you? Okay. So I'm going to put these back, actually, and see if they come up again. What's coming in for Pisces? The Four of Chalices, which is the Four of Cups. Yeah. I see you guys like emotionally becoming very stable, but also, you know, longing for the excitement, um, almost longing for the drama that this person brought forward, you know, because it's like, You'd rather have like this um, very fragile interaction with this person versus, you know, not having in any interaction at all. And that is what I see here. <clears throat> How is Pisces viewing this situation? The Six of Pentacles. We saw the Six of Pentacles. Well, you didn't. I don't know if I turned the cards around. Um, but the four cards that flipped out earlier... Uh, the Six of Pentacles was one of them. And I see you guys wanting to spend time with this person. Wanting this person to, you know, want to spend time with you. You're looking for that reciprocity is what I'm getting here. You see yourself as being fair. You see yourself as being non-judgmental. You see yourself as being very giving. And doing what is necessary um, for the connection. And if that means like putting your needs and your wants aside for the sake of the relationship, you know, that's how you will do. I feel like you guys sacrifice yourselves a lot. Okay. That's Taurus energy. The Nine of Cups, I feel like you guys are wanting to um, just be happy right now. You know, you're thinking about being outside of this relationship with this person and just doing your own thing hanging out with friends and family and just going and just doing what's best for Pisces 
you know, and not taking into account, you know, how it's going to affect a relationship with the person. Oh, okay. Here we go with all these cards. Let's see. And then we have the four of pentacles in reverse. I don't know how that came out like that, but it did. Um, so this is like, you know, either losing out, losing money, um, you know, letting go of things here. I feel like, oh, okay. So we have the five of cups, the two of cups, the ten of cups here. Wow. You know, initially you guys were very regretful thinking that, you know, um, you know, you were never going to find a love like this. Uh, hesitant about letting go of this connection, about letting go of the family dynamic. And um, I feel like now you're you're ready to let go. You're ready to let go here. Capricorn energy. Scorpio. Cancer. Yeah, I think you guys are at that point where you're ready to let go. Hopes or fears for Pisces. Being able to let go. The Empress here. Being able to stand your ground and do what's best for you. Having that confidence that you can move on and, and experience those things that you deserve here with the Empress. Taurus energy. Standing your ground. Being confident in who you are. That is what you want. Some of you are actually wanting to still be with this person. Wanting to have that family. Wanting to have a baby even. And feeling like, you know, your time is running out for some reason. What is the outcome here for Pisces? Eight of Swords. Restricting yourselves. Getting caught up in your thoughts. Getting caught up in, in reminiscing and things from the past. And um, just being stuck. Being stuck mentally. Being too focused on this, this past person. And not being able to really make a decision about them one way or the other. Just kind of being in limbo. Okay? So, Gemini energy is up there. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And that is your message from the Romance Angels, guys. Stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay? So whatever decision you make, I feel like it's not going to be the wrong decision. Okay? But it has to be something that you are very comfortable with. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.